What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Continuing our fall mini series and this time we're swaying more towards the Halloween side of things and I believe these are must-have Halloween design ideas if that is what you're going for. If you, if you enjoy the spooky season as much as me, you're gonna want these on your island. So if you haven't uh, caught up with my fall series, you can check out my prior videos like this amazing path or this apple apple cider stand farmer's market. I love it so much. The first one is kind of updating an idea that we've already done, okay? So this first one, we've, we've talked about these lanterns. And uh, if you haven't watched the video, it's basically a paper lantern with a custom design in it. And when it glows at night, it is the, it is the best thing. It's so good. And I feel like this idea has really caught on. So a lot of people have been making more designs so I kind of wanted to highlight a couple more for you. Now these are from the same uh, same creator. So let me put this on the screen first. Now one is a, let's place this here. We have one being a spider one, which is really cool. And then this one I really like is a witch one. Now let's kind of uh, zoom in right here. So now, this creator, I'll put this on the screen for you now. This creator has made a bunch. These being my favorite, I love how vibrant these colors are. They also have like a graveyard one. I believe they have like a pumpkin graveyard one. And uh, there might be some other ones on there now, but these are my favorite. And I love all the Halloween colors, the orange, the green, the purple. These just really stand out to me. And uh, as you will see later, I'm actually using these patterns for more than one thing but I love the development here and people are really starting to catch on uh, with these lanterns. So there's a couple more for you. Again, search that creator code, you'll find a lot more. Um, this isn't really one of the major ones, but the next one, and it's it's super simple, the door, uh, the door plates. And I've been switching over everyone's house to have this uh, Halloween door plate. Now this is one in the bug off. So all the times that you didn't want to do the bug off because you were getting the same prize, I was thinking ahead and I was like, listen, I want these spider door plates. Luckily people have been giving uh, them to me as well. So shout out to the discord, but uh, I think they're great. I've been putting them literally on everyone's house and we actually have Marshall who is leaving my island. So he's probably going to take that with him. I have some extras though. So whoever moves in, just, just gift them the door plate. They will put it up on their own. And I love doing this. I did this for the summer. We had some flowery ones and then I'll do it again in the winter. I believe snowflake ones come out. So very exciting stuff, but it's just a quick little tip there. All right, moving along. And I like how these trends start to build and they get steam and more people want to get involved. So we went over this candy bowl and uh, if you missed it, it's basically just a hat that's designed as a candy bowl and you basically just turn it all the way around. Now people have really latched onto this idea, creating even more. So uh, let me put this on the screen for you. Now there's two one, there's two that I wanna highlight. We have a cat one and a ghost one. So all you do is you go, and these are pro designs, so these aren't going to take up any spots in your actual design slot. So we're just going to uh, display here. And there you go, that's the cat one. Certainly a different kind of look. Now my pro designs, I don't really make a lot of clothes, so I have plenty of room for all of these. So we have the cat one, and of course we have the ghost one. I love all these, these are great. So just display here. Now what I've been doing with these is just putting them, like this is the finished product, I've just been putting them outside of people's house, and then uh, you know, come Halloween, it's gonna look really cute. And I feel like the more the merrier, we have a cat and a ghost, let me know what you think about these in the comments section below. I've seen some other ones with different kind of like candy pouring out and things like that. But these are three that have really stuck out to me. And I love that people are kind of uh, getting hyped about this, making their own. So we have some updated candy bowls. Everyone should have these. These are fantastic. Okay, so this next one is I think the best one in the entire video. And maybe I'm biased because I, I recently have done this to my island. And uh, I just think it makes a world of difference. And I really do think that, I, I hope this catches on is what I'm trying to say. So let's go to the plaza. Now this is the plaza right here, okay? This is the normal size plaza. And I feel like the misconception with the plazas, like everyone's hanging out here. Look at everyone having a ball. I think that the misconception is that people try and uh, hide the plaza a lot. They try and work around the plaza. And uh, at the end of the day, 
This isn't something that we can control. The plaza is where the plaza is, and we just kind of have to embrace it. So instead of hiding it, I actually decided to add to it. Now this idea has a bunch of parts, so let me go really slow for you. So the first thing we did is we actually extended the plaza, okay? So I will go one piece at a time. So this first piece is a stair pattern, which is on the screen for you right now. Now, uh, I just put this kind of where the, I put the stairs where it meets the plaza. Now, as you will see, there is a green strip of grass. Unfortunately, you can't get rid of that, okay? That's just something that you're gonna have to work around. That's the closest the pattern will go. Uh, so I started with this stair pattern, and then I went with this brick pattern which I felt is the closest to the plaza. It's not 100%, but it's really close. So I'll put that on the screen for you now. Now, if you look really closely at this pattern, it does have one dot, which is transparent. So it's a full pattern, but one pixel is not full. Now, this is great because as long as you have at least one pixel that is empty, you can then bend it around something. So let me go down here first before we show you this. So let's go into the the island designer, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we are going to, just real quick, because I use sand. Uh, all, all those patterns that are in my plaza, I put sand under first. Now what we're gonna do here is we are then going to bend this here. So we just bend this sand. Now I'm gonna try and use a pattern that doesn't have a transparent pixel, just to show you what I mean. So I believe this one doesn't have a transparent pixel. Let's put this down. Now, as you can see here, if the pattern doesn't have a transparent pixel, it won't bend itself around the path. But we have this pattern, which I showed you. See the little dot in the middle? This is transparent, so if you put it down, it will bend with whatever pattern you put down. So that's just a little bit of a pro tip. If you're wondering why your pattern won't bend, it's just because it doesn't have a transparent pixel. Okay, so back to this, we've just put this uh, this brick pattern down and we've extended the plaza. So uh, it just gives the plaza more life. And let's face it, this is where all the villagers go and uh, there's a lot of activity here, so why not add to this area? So all I did here was I put two benches kind of back to back, put a leaf pile here. I want to put this leaf pile so bad on the plaza, but of course you can't put any items down. Uh, we did this, and then to make it more Halloween, and this is so great, we have a Halloween little bake shop here. Now this is a bunch of different pieces. So we have the, uh, the lamps that we showed before, so we have the spider lamp and we also have the witch lamp on the left side. We have this stall pattern, which uh, normally I don't do stall patterns, but this one was way too good. So let me put this on the screen for you. Again, it's just like a little uh, cute pumpkin bat pattern with a couple uh, yellow sparkly bits on it. Um, and then on the stall, and this is the greatest thing ever. I think I'm gonna continue this trend for every season. We have two Halloween cakes. Now all these are, they're basically hats and kind of like the candy bowl, I've just kind of placed them down, turned them all the way around so they face out and they look like cakes that are on a stand. Of course, these are both uh, Halloween designs. So uh, I love these. Of course, they're on the screen for you if you want to take those patterns. And then all I've done here is I put this uh, iron low table, I believe it is, and then I put the cutting board on top. Now, going back to the pumpkin lamps, you can actually customize the cutting board and I've used that same pumpkin pattern so it looks like it's a knife and cute little pumpkin napkins, which is the best thing ever. That is the best thing ever. So this is my new plaza. Of course, it's extended and uh, Mary is having the time of her life. Oh my God. So like I said before, depending on the season, so the next season is probably gonna be like Thanksgiving. So I'll, you know, I, I might do like a, a turkey thing, I don't know, I might do something else here. And then of course in the winter, I uh, I could always have like a Christmas, Christmas themed cakes or Christmas decorations, whatever comes out uh, during Christmas time. So I think this is gonna be a permanent part of my island and I love the fact that now my plaza is uh, much more robust and it has a little bit of flavor in here. Also, I'll put this picture on the screen of Pecan chilling earlier on this bench here because 
look at this. We have two, I think there's, yeah, three villagers over here. A lot of villager interaction. So make sure if you do extend your plaza, you put things that your villagers can interact with. It is fantastic. And uh, I can't believe I haven't done this sooner. Let me know what you think of my little uh, Halloween bake shop here. And uh, let's go to the final design. All right, the final design uh, was made because I had this area on my island that was just, it was just bugging me. It was just that empty area and I didn't know what to do with it, but I still wanted to keep it that fall slash Halloween theme. So what I've done here is I made my very own pumpkin patch. Now let me go through this again. These pumpkin patterns, again, are pro patterns. So these are actually, uh, these are actually hats. So let's uh, spin this around. So that's how they look. They're just pumpkin hats. I've shown these a bunch in this whole fall series. I'll put it on the screen for you. Uh, this is just a plain pumpkin pattern. Now, as you can see here, I made uh, a little pumpkin patch with, uh, this is corral fencing that I put all the way around. We have just plain dirt. So everyone has the dirt. We've just put that in a square. We didn't even round it off. We have a couple leaf patterns. Uh, we have some weeds, a scarecrow, a hand cart. Very basic. This is what I've done. Uh, I didn't want to fill it all up because I want it to seem like uh, people have been picking pumpkins this whole time. Uh, and then what I did is I have this sign out here is you pick pumpkins. So I'll put this uh, pattern on the screen. I've seen a bunch of different pumpkin signs or pumpkin patch signs or pick some pumpkins, whatever you want. Uh, this one just stood out to me. I would suggest putting a uh, pumpkin sign though because it really seals the deal and it kind of brings home that whole theme. That that's what you're going for. And then I wasn't done yet. I, I was like, you know what? This is very fall. I like it, but I need some kind of a Halloween twist. So all I've done over here is I have a log square table. I think it's called. I'm not too sure. I have uh, four low stools and I kind of customize those to make them a darker brown. And then this is, oh my God, I love this so much. I've actually, I saw this uh, idea over on the Discord, which is in the description, by the way, a ton of cool patterns. And what I've done is I've made myself a jack-o'-lantern carving station. This is amazing, okay? So the top right, that's the pumpkin pattern I just showed you. The top left, here you go. This is a jack-o'-lantern pattern. Uh, so they're done by different creators, but I love them both. And then again, we did the cutting board, but instead of the pumpkin napkins, we now have that purple lantern pattern which makes great spider napkins. See what we're doing here? We're using patterns more than once, get our money's worth. And then we have, of course, that knife block, uh, which is a pretty common item. I feel like I've seen that in Nook's Cranny a bunch. And, uh, you know, small little items, guys, really drive the point home. And uh, I love this. We got a pumpkin patch over here. You can carve them over here. And, uh, you know, we just put little accents here, like uh, we have the hay bed. We have more of the path pattern, which I'll try and put in the description for you. It's a great fall pattern. And uh, yeah, this is the area right here. And this was another area that kind of to the right, I have my graveyard. To the left, I have my haunted house maze. And I just needed to kind of fill this space. Let me know what you think here, because this is the newest thing on my island. And I'm actually pretty proud of it. Let me know what you think of this series and this video in particular. Which one was your favorite? Was it the uh, was it the scary pumpkin spice cake over here? Was it the pumpkin patch? Do you like some of the new lantern patterns? Let me know what you think, guys, and I will see you in the next video. But for now, I think I'm going to do some yoga with Marshall before Marshall leaves. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if I still got it. Okay, see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.